the topic at hand here has nothing to do with any of this, shockingly. It's the uh, Arizona Cardinals, and who on this team has the most to prove in 2024? Now, we're setting Kyler aside. Obviously, quarterback coming off an injury, uh, played last year. We don't have to get into the whole Kyler thing right now, so we're setting him aside. Kellen, I'll let you go first because this was really kind of your idea. Is there a name that jumps out to you to the point that it gave you this idea? I think it's more of the collection of names. So I don't really have one specifically that jumps out. I think that it's more that if you were to say a name, I wouldn't call you wrong. I think there is a list of at least half a dozen guys, if not more. I think a sneaky one to start is Trey McBride, just because he had such a huge breakout season. It's it's a, is this who you are season? Yeah. Are you one of the best seven, eight, nine, ten, however long the list is of tight ends? I'm not going to do the Bill Simmons thing where I say, this is the 14th best tight end, and I don't know the 13 tight ends and the 16 <laughs> tight ends behind him. I just say the, a random number. One of the best tight ends in the league. Well, Does he, it, wait, and I, I'm I like Bill Simmons a lot, especially during football season. But if you're, I gonna, do what I do because Bill Simmons inspired me to do it. Yeah, yeah. But I will say this: anybody you're going to rank, you have to leave a spot for at least one or two players from the Boston team ahead of whoever you're talking about. That's just a given. So it's a given. Yeah. Uh, so Trey McBride's behind at least three Patriots tight ends. He's one to Bill of the Simmons. best tight ends in the league. I think we can feel comfortable in uh, giving him that designation. But is he going to keep that designation throughout the season after his breakout? After teams are more aware now of what he is going to be doing and what he contributes to this team. To be clear, I'm not saying that he will or won't, but. This conversation can go a multitude of ways. James Conner, again, he I think he has certified himself as perhaps the leader of this team, but can he and Trey Benson together certify that the Cardinals are indeed, again, going to be one of the best running teams in football? I think that they're going to do it. Let me give you my my one name, though, isn't really a high tier one. It better not be my name because I have a name. Mine is Michael Wilson. Okay, I'm ready to click eject if he's hurt again. For like, If he misses four or five games again, I'm like, okay, enough. Like, You need to look somewhere else because this is something that you knew coming in with the draft with him that he was going to potentially run into some injury constraints it happened again last year it's why you got him where you did but I'm not writing him off to be clear I'm just saying having him as a top two wide receiver on your team I don't think you can look at someone like that to be reliable if he misses time again and if he doesn't miss time I think he is positioned more than anyone in the offense to have a breakout season maybe for the for the exception being Trey Benson just because of the running game that he's stepping into but I think Wilson is going to be a huge part of what they do for sure uh, I don't disagree with that I've got one for you though and I'm, I'm going to go a little bit off the beaten path I'm going to go with Jonathan Gannon actually because You've seen it. Uh, certainly, we we saw it the last three weeks out there at OTAs. We'll be out there again tomorrow for minicamp. We've you know anybody that's been around this team. I think any fan of this team that watches it closely has has seen the the vibe around this team change. There's a lot of excitement. This, I mean, the tickets, yeah, they're, <laughs> they're selling faster than they've sold in like 16 years, 15 years with the Cardinals. Um, I think we all believe in what Jonathan Gannon's doing and the culture he's building. But if you're talking about guys that have something to prove, now can you prove that you can translate that into wins on the field? Nobody's holding last year four and thirteen against him. In fact, I think we're I think most of us are looking at four and thirteen last year and almost setting aside the record and just saying the feeling around this team and the direction of this team and how much more competitive they are, how much more resilient they are, uh, it's all very evident. But if you're talking about somebody who has something to prove, it's always gonna fall on the coach. Uh, at the end of the season, and can he get them to at least? I think they need to be in the seven to ten win range. I think that's where they are, and I and I think they probably need to be in the like around nine. One more name I'll shout out: Paris Johnson Jr. Moved to the left. It's uh, it's probably the easiest one. Obviously. Prove you're the franchise left tackle. When we were doing a similar ish type of exercise last week, he was one of the guys that you wanted to shout out immediately as just one of the X factors of this team. He was the guy when you said, if we can put extra, if we can just up their rating across the board. Remember you took BJ Ozolari and I took Paris Johnson Jr. Because I don't know that they can do anything. If Paris Johnson Jr. isn't good. Yes. Does Jonathan Gannon have anything to prove this year? Yeah, that was my whole thing. Yeah, well, Gannon's my pick. Well, well, no, I, I mean in the extent of the long-term picture of this team d- this year. Let's say if they stagnate this year okay. and they win six games. Yeah, I don't... I, I don't think like anything will happen. Like I don't think he's on. He'll be on the hot seat. I don't think it's any of that. But it, it just it's more there. It's a different skill, right? I mean, if you're going to be the coach that everybody's hoping he is, 
you're able to build a culture. You're able to, to get this team to rally together. He's All these things he's already done, which is pretty remarkable, but another skill you have to do or have is to be able to translate it into wins. So, yeah, I'm, I'm with you there. I think the, the, other, the other name for me is Sean Murphy Bunting because he is coming in and he is going to be the number one corner for this team. True. And there's a lot of weight on that. And uh, what the first name that I wrote down here to ask you about another one, do you think Buddha deserves to be on this list? Just with his contract thing in mind, not doubting Buddha's ability at all. He's one of the best players in the world at what he does. I think the Buddha conversation, and we're going to have to have it at some point, is it's a really intricate one for me because does he have anything to prove? No, but how he proves it is probably going to determine whether or not he's a Cardinal long term. You know, that's there, there's a lot like it's not a given that he's going to play his whole career with the Cardinals. I hope he does, you know, but that's that's that is a whole different conversation. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.